I'm about to show you some vortexed water uh, in a bit of a crude way comparing it to um, our center earth vortex and how uh, it works rotations you'll see the two rotations in the front here we'll see the rotation going from the left to the right up to the right and then you'll see the back rotation going from the right to the left so it looks like there's two opposites um, but here we are just looking direct straight on imagine imagine if it was the shape of the vortex in, the, in my design and the um, and it was reflected off a concave surface which we have uh, you know the reflective concave surface we have out south so here we go watch this so we don't see it on the centre of our world do we not until it's illuminated at night on the night sky reflective dome there we have it the night comes in and we have the sun and the vortex at all times only on one half at a time but voila look at that doesn't that look pretty this is the light the sun within the vortex you can imagine the sun outside the vortex you wouldn't get the same effect we only get a reflection out in our physical world to bring the sun out here. We're going, to, we're going to see a vortex, but not much else. We don't see a vortex, do we? No, the light's inside. The sun is inside. This is going a hell of a lot faster than our, our physical world rotates. We, we only spin at 15 degrees per hour. This is going a, going a lot faster than that. Hence the long the streaks that we would have the stars. But basically this is what we are out in the physical world. It's just all to do with moisture. Reflected light into a atmosphere full of moisture water is always coming into the religious stories because of the magnetic fields moving the water and the moon moves water you know the moon draws the moisture in the air it moves the moisture in the human brain too that's where the Noah story comes into it the flood, you've got the pineal gland region, the moisture, the, the fluid in your brain, water turning to wine, that's the mixing of blood, but that's once the pineal gland's been opened. This water is rainwater, filtered rainwater, no chlorine, no fluoride. Um, if you're a runner or you're into exercise, you drink a cup of tap water, run, run around the block, then, then drink a cup of this water, you'll notice the difference for sure. Reoxygenates the water. Well, I think it gives about gives you the ten times ten times the lasting effects of a cup of glass from the tap. So I only have a white light. Imagine if this was a multiple light source like we have in our light spectrum. Six other colours. And all this represents the sands of the world. All the sands of the world, as it says in scripture. Bubbles. We could say we all exist in one of those bubbles. 
a little zest in an atom. One atom. Everything in our physical world is seen in a microscopic point of view. Because there's nothing there. But then you blow it up with light. We know what happens under an electron microscope. You don't call an electron microscope for nothing. I could sit and watch that all day long. Don't we see something similar like that when we get out our cameras and start looking into the night sky? Zoom into a planet, a wandering star. And they say we're just not focusing. This is what we get. All those celestial bodies out there it's just vibrating, resonating frequencies within the moisture, within the atmosphere. That's all it is. Pity I can't spin it a bit slower. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I should have done it in a, a darker room. Here we go. Oh, turn it off and on at the time. Imagine if God pulled the plug, we'd all just drop and disappear. Just like that. Okay.